Hello and welcome to a new PPT bomb game. This is the Sumiko Garushi PPT game. So let's get straight into it. So at the start of the PPT, it will show you how to change the format to 16 by 9 ratio, if it's not in that ratio already. And also this game uses a special font. The name of the font is Mini Waku Waku Maru. So to install this font, which I highly recommend, it will make the game look much better. Go ahead and follow the instructions on this slide. If you have any problems, I'll also put a link to the, um, the folder, the zip file that will give you the font. You can download that from my Google Drive. A uh, quick uh, Korean tip there. Let's move past that and then go straight into this game. So Sumiko Garushi has lots of different characters. I don't know anything about this um, animation or the characters. It's my students who asked me to make this game, so I went ahead and did it. So there's some information in English there and some music. Go ahead and read that. And after that, there are two video clips. Uh, one is promoting the Sumiko Garushi movie and the second clip here, which is just um, some animation and music. It's all very cute. You can go ahead and show that, or you can skip it if you want to. So let's get into the game. The Sumiko Garushi game. Uh, these are the names of the characters. Takage, Penguin, Shirakuma, Neko, and Tonkatsu. And this is the point system. So the point system is very simple. Um, each character here is worth one point each. There's a maximum of seven points in this game. There's also a choice slide. Just click on the, um, the square box to reveal how many points. And there's also some minus points in this game as well. Tonkatsu crying, we get minus three points. Oh, and there's a change point. In our Gonju, uh, mermaid, Tokage mermaid, for the change points. <laughs> and this little guy flying across the screen, he's called Dust. Bye bye. So let's play. I'll go very quickly with this. This is the main question slide here. I'm going to choose number 24. So as normal, it's a template. Put in your question, uh, put a picture into the middle rectangular box. Uh, click the mouse or push the space bar to reveal the answer and then click or space bar again. So 24 is a choice slide. All you have to do is click on the um, character and it will reveal the points. We've got seven, one point. This one is a 10 points. There are two 10 points in this game. The maximum points you can get. And Neko the cat is one point. So to go back to the main question slide, click on this little guy in the bottom right hand corner. I think his name is Furishiri, if I remember rightly. Uh, let's choose another one, number 18. Question and answer. And this time we got the minus three points. You just saw that one before. So minus three from the team that chooses this question. And there's a little snail <laughs> going across in the top left hand corner. Now to go back to the main question slide, click on the crying cat. He's the Neko character. Click on the cat and that will take you back to the main screen. I have put details in the comments on every slide that explain how to use this game. Uh, next, I'm going to choose number 10. Question and answer. And click or space bar. And here we have the change point slide. We've seen this one before, so just let that one run through. And to go back to the main question slide, just click on the background. Anywhere on the background will take you back to the main question slide. And the final one I'm going to choose is number three. Question and answer. So this is just to show the points again. Each character is worth one point. And as I said, there's a maximum of seven points and then a maximum of 10 points in the choice point slides. And click on the little character in the bottom right hand corner and that will take you back to the main question slide. So that is it. And as always, it is a template. So just go ahead and add whatever you like into the question and answer slide. You can change this as you like. 
And um, that is about it. So please like or dislike, subscribe or don't subscribe. And uh, leave me any comments if you like this game. I didn't know anything about these characters. And to be honest, it was quite fun to make this game. I've played this game two times now and it's um, been very successful. So I hope you can make good use of it. Please download it from the Google Drive link. And I'll also add some fully made complete games for some of the books um, this week or next week. Thanks very much and have a great week and enjoy your teaching. Bye bye.